I mean, I'll go back to the description of your job as bastonero. Opo. No, mar maraming problema dyan na which might be beyond your control, no? Apart from politics, there are the right courts. Right-of-way. Right-of-way right of way pa. Ayun yeah. ang pinakamalaki. That was the biggest problem. Ah. Right-of-way was really the single biggest concern. Kaya hindi... Then why but not? But you need I mean, political I, will, diba? Bring, I mean, yeah, speaking of political will. It's political will. will. If, if kung mali now, the right-of-way is one of the biggest cogs hmm. there. Yes. Why not limit the request for emergency powers to just deal with uh, no, to just deal with uh, with, with right of way issues, for example? Agam po, right of way is the is a major part of the emergency powers that the president yeah. asked for. Pero hindi lang naman huyon ang ano eh, huh. ang, ang ang issue eh. Pero tingin ko po dapat yung mag-usap po ng mabuti ang Congreso at ang executive at kung may concerns ang Congreso. Um, Dapat po, sabihin na lang, o, oh, ilimit natin dito. Hindi naman po mahirap yeah, pausap ang executive. Eh. No, but that's precisely what they've been saying. And that's, what, that's no. precisely what I, they've been saying. Na I, I mahirap think, actually kausap ang executive because we're just looking for a detailed work plan well, that doesn't ask for everything, including demolition of Philippine you know, villages. You know, I think, so, po, so, to, to be honest, no, and, and, I, I, mm. and I think this can be borne out by the record, I think those plans were submitted as early as 2016. Mm. No, so I, I I really don't know why we're still talking about plans three years after they were submitted. Yeah. I think the, what what is clearly needed is we sit down and we say this is what's needed, this is the plan, yeah. these are the difficulties, yes, and let's come up with it. But I, I don't know. I can't speak to the no, know, but I, I know, to the, in, in, to in, the in, details in fairness of that, to the think, to Congress. I think that precisely is their message. We're willing to sit down, but give us a more sensible list, not no, a blanket, specific. Uh, not a blanket, blanket authority to do everything. Hindi naman po ata blanket ang hinihingi. To my knowledge, huh. no? to my knowledge, yeah. I don't think Secretary Tugade is asking for blanket authority to just, mm. you know, um, uh, uh, cut corners and, and do that. No, I think it's very clear. Well, but here, here's an example for, I'm from Bu Chanko's uh, mm -hmm. column, uh, sa, sa Philippine Star. Among other things they're asking for, for emergency powers, demolition of Philippine Village Hotel, cons uh, construction of third runway at Naia, compromise accounts receivable, construction, rehab, procurement of aviation requirements for, mm. for airports from Rojas mm. to Dumaguete, mm. and so on. Mm. And ang tanong ni, ni Budon, what does that have to do with EDSA? If you want emergency powers to, to fix EDSA, they're saying that precisely Congress is willing to work with this on emergency powers, but to your point, Let's be specific and let's let's have a, yeah. a very specific. I think area. that has something to do, Paul, with decongesting naman uh, our airport. No, mm. it may not be not the part traffic. of EDSA. Yeah. Well, no. I mean, tayo tayo po yan. Hindi ma, kaya nga. But tayo, that, tayo now you're po asking po for emergency powers for everything from EDSA to airports. Sobrang dami. Um, para ho sa akin, lahat po yan kailangan eh. Lahat po yan. I mean, NAIA is in a state of emergency mm -hmm. in the same way that EDSA is in a state of emergency. Mm -hmm. So I think it's really a matter of just getting together, agreeing mm -hmm. on certain, on certain if, if Congress doesn't want to give powers to demolish the Philippine village hotel, then mm -hmm. it's okay. I mean, you know, I think Secretary Tugade Manampo will agree to that. But I think bottom line is for infrastructure, I think ano ho eh, we have to come to terms with the fact that we are in an emergency situation in Metro Manila, which really calls for emergency solutions. That unfortunately, given the complexity and mm. convoluted processes in government, we really need to find a way to kind of streamline. You know, we don't want to subvert any laws or anything like that, but I think there is a way that Congress and the executive can agree on to kind of streamline and make things go fast. Young courts, naman, you're not worried because the president you sent know, a message to the judiciary. Eh? Mm. I, I hope you stop issuing TROs on our projects. Oh. Is that a problem for you? Being right now, po, you know, in charge in of the flagship. Po to, ano, ha, to, to, to Secretary Villar and Secretary, especially Secretary Villar, no? Mm. Um, yung pung mga right of way problems na problema ng mga nakaraan, especially for say, um, mm. the Skyway Stage Three and also the NREX SREX connector of Metro yes. Pacific, mm. Mm. na solve po ni Secretary Villar, mm. even without emergency powers. Kaya Siyempre, na, it exactly. Will be, it will be easier. Mm. Huh. Siyempre, I mean, sabi nga ni Secretary Togade, ni Secretary Villar, kung ayaw ibigay, okay lang, we'll still do it. Pero kung ibibigay, better, kasi mm. mas mabigas. Mm. No? And mm. I think right now, we can all agree, na kailangan pabilisin pa natin lang yeah.